Welcome to another midweek. It's the BNFT Digest. I'm Lily Pearl Baba O2. Governor of the Central Bank, Dr. Abdul Nashir Isahaku, and astute business leader, Dr. Tony Otin Jesse, will today open the fifth edition of the Ghana Economic Forum, which will discuss the agenda of how to achieve a Ghanaian owned economy. The forum's influential focus group discussions will touch on various issues that stretch from energy and infrastructure, agriculture, entrepreneurship, and finance. Under the theme, A Ghanaian-Owned Economy, setting the agenda for achieving it, the forum will host plenary sessions as well as focus group sessions with the aim of setting the agenda for achieving a Ghanaian economy. The Institute for Fiscal Studies, IFS, is worried that the Finance Ministry consistent lowering of the cap of the Ghana Stabilization Fund could ultimately defeat the purpose for which the fund was set up. This follows the ministry's recent announcement that the cap on the fund, which was reduced from 250 million US dollars to 150 million US dollars, had further been reduced to 100 million US dollars. According to the IFS review, the continued depletion of the stabilization fund, whose closing book value at the end of 2015 was just 177.4 million US dollars, weakens its capacity to help sustain critical public expenditure when oil prices decline. It also has the propensity to cause more borrowing by the government to plug revenue shortfalls. The decision by government to allow the use of the biometric payment system EZWISH for a number of its interventions is yielding positive results as the value and volume of transactions continue to register impressive growth. The health year report released by the Ghana Interbank Payment and Settlement Systems shows that the value of ease with transactions went up from 277 million Ghana cities in the first half of 2015 to 867 million Ghana cities in the first half of 2016. The volume of ease with transactions also went up from 800,000 to 1.8 million transactions. And that's it for today on the BNFT Digest. For more of these, you can visit our website, thebftonline.com, or you can grab a copy of the BNFT newspaper. My makeup is by Dubin House of Beauty. Enjoy the rest of your day.